guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this fluffy twist out. Mm. Take a look and see. Yeah, so this is another hair so that I like to do other than my wash and goes. Just to play about with the curl pattern a little bit. It's a perfect hairstyle if you're transitioning from permed hair to natural hair. In the beginning of my natural hair journey, I did used to wear twist outs and braid outs quite often because my curl pattern was heat trained. So these hairstyles really did help to, you know, train my hair back to its to its natural form. I've been wearing my hair natural for about nine years now, so I know my hair pretty well. But, you know, it's still a journey for me and, you know, sometimes your hair does like to change on you and you have to try out different things. But yes, keep watching to see how I achieve this hairstyle and I'll see you guys soon. So this was the night before. I washed, conditioned and deep conditioned my hair and I'm taking my ORS for Naturals leave-in conditioning cream and I'm mixing it with this as I am leave-in conditioning cream. But I really don't like the as I am leave-in conditioner. So um, that was a bad idea. So I actually did record this video over six months ago when I did have this leave-in conditioner still. But as you probably heard me mention before, I believe this product is discontinued now. So I have been trying out a lot of products recently and I will be doing reviews on them on my channel. So if you're interested in that, subscribe to my channel. So yeah, I'm just applying that leave-in conditioner all over my hair. And I'm really working that product in my hair. It makes a difference when you really work the products in your hair. It must be something to do with the warmth of your hands and the friction. So yeah, just make sure you're really taking the time to apply the product in your hair. And to also make sure that you're spreading the product evenly over the section. And then I'm applying a little bit more product to the ends because they need it. And then I'm applying my hair oil mixture. It's just a bunch of oils that work really well in my hair and ones that work as a sealant to lock in the moisture from the water and all that goodness from the leave-in conditioner creams. I don't apply any oil to my roots until midweek and then again if I do a pre-poo. I just like to keep my scalp as clean as possible so that it can thrive. So I'm just applying that oil all over the section. And then I'm taking the ORS for Naturals hair butter and I'm applying a little bit of that on top. I love this hair butter. I usually use it with my Juicy Twists for added moisture, but it's not a necessary step. But this hair butter is super moisturising and it leaves my hair super, super shiny. I wouldn't usually use this for my twist outs. It's just because I knew the leave-in conditioner wouldn't do what I wanted it to do. So I did this for extra security, basically. So yeah, I'm just working those products into my hair. And my hair is most frizzy at the crown, so I pay a little bit more attention to that area as well. And finally, I'm taking my Sheer Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie to help with the definition. I haven't actually used gels on my twist outs or my braid outs, or I can't actually remember if I have done in the past. I must have not liked the outcome because I haven't used gel in my braid outs or my twist outs for as long as I can remember. So maybe in my next video, I use a little bit of gel just to see how I like it. But using the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, it gives me definition, but it doesn't give me as much hold. Like it can't last for the whole week basically. But that's normal when you're not using a gel, I think anyway. Even for like washing girls, if I don't use a gel, my hair won't last me for a whole week. I've always just used curl defining creams because I didn't want my hair to feel too way down. But I'll experiment and I'll get back to you guys. This twist out came out more fluffy. Sometimes I am looking for the more defined look and maybe the gel could help with that. But yeah, I like my braid out, so my twist out to be really light and fluffy. So this cream really helps me achieve that. It doesn't wear down my hair much at all. But yeah, I'm just applying that to my hair, making sure that everything gets evenly distributed. Parting in between the hair too, to get into the section and really working the products into my hair strands. And then I'm taking my Denman brush and gently brushing the products through. I parted my hair into two triangle sections uh, just because of the way my hairline is set up. There's not as much hair in the front sections of my hair compared to the back. And I wanted the sections to be even in size. And then, yeah, I just begin to twist my hair. I do start with a braid as well, by the way, just so that the twist can hold better at the root without getting frizzy. But this can also create more frizz when separating, so just be mindful of that. So yeah, I just braid about an inch down, and then I switch to a twist by splitting one of the sections and feeding them into the other two sections. And then when I get about halfway, I brush through the ends again so that the hair isn't tangled when I'm twisting it. You want your hair to be tangle free so that the end results are less frizzy. Sometimes I redo some of the ends when they're not as smooth as I want them. 
and I find that after twisting them for the first time, the hair is elongated and easier to twist and that helps me get a smoother result. And I'm also taking large sections because I'm lazy. <laughs> Sometimes I do 12 twists, but more time is eight. I just like to have the styling portion of my hair finished within the hour, because you know the whole washing process takes long as it is. So this process only took me about 40 minutes and they dry by the next day too, so win-win. But yeah, the larger sections usually results in more frizz as well, because I have to separate the curls more, but I can't just sit down for hours and do my hair. Not for a style that's not gonna last me the whole week. Oh, I forgot to mention that after I washed my hair, I wrapped it up in a t-shirt and I left it up there for about 15 minutes before I started recording. So my hair was damp and I only sprayed water on the other side because it was getting a bit dry. But if you are trying out this tutorial, just have your water on hand so that you can just spray your hair to get it damp. But you don't want it to be soaking wet because it's not going to dry. So yeah, I just continued to do that for the rest of the sections. And I did the other side off camera just to save time, energy and memory on my memory card because <laughs> literally it's the same thing on the other side you don't need to see me do it over and over again so now that I'm finished I'm taking my perm rods to curl the ends of my hair to add more of a uniform shape instead of having them scraggly ends everywhere I think this was before I cut my hair I had a lot of really bad trashy ends and I think that also contributes to how your twist out comes out because if your ends need trimming it's gonna snag and it's not gonna pull away as neatly. So yeah, I just trimmed my hair a few days ago and there is not a split end in sight. So um, that video is coming up soon as well. I got my updated curly to straight routine and a new way of cutting my hair. So if you're interested in seeing those videos, subscribe to my channel. But I've taken my edges scarf and I'm tying that around my head. This just helps to reduce the frizziness around my hairline. And then I'm taking my headscarf and wrapping that loosely on top with the twist just hanging down at the back. And this is the next day. My hair is completely dry. Yes, completely dry in one day. You heard me right. <laughs> and that's all because I started off with damp hair, not soaking wet hair. And I did my makeup on my edges off camera. And this is what the twists are looking like at the moment. Then I've just taken off the perm rods by rotating them in the opposite direction. And don't worry about those short hairs on top, that's just new growth. It's not breakage, I had postpartum hair fall, so my hair is just sprouting back. <laughs> and now I'm taking some more of that oil and I'm rubbing it on my hands and I'm rubbing it on the twist as well. Just so that I can reduce the amount of frizz. So I start by unraveling the twist from the bottom very slowly, trying not to separate the sections at all and then I just start to twist in the opposite direction and with any pieces that are frizzy I just twirl around my fingers so once again I gently separate the bottom part of my curls because as I said my ends were really bad at this time and they were really snaggy and they wouldn't come away nicely if I was to pull it as you can see in some clips the hair actually does get stuck at the ends and that caused a lot of frizz so yeah just gently start to separate at the bottom and then twist in the opposite direction and when it gets to the platelets at the top I carefully separate the hair because that's also where I got a lot more frizz when I had to separate the curls but yeah I just continue to do that throughout the whole section and this is what it's looking like so far and now I want to fluff those curls out because they're looking a little bit too flat for my liking. So now I'm taking my afro pick and I'm just lifting up my roots just to bring some volume back to my roots. And once I'm done picking, I go ahead and shake my hair at the roots to try and get rid of those partings. I do this all before I separate the strands because I don't want to cause even more frizz than there is already. Once I'm done fluffing, I go ahead and part off my hair. And this is also something that you can do beforehand to prevent more frizz. And then I go ahead and fluff out that side of my hair because it tends to lie flat on top of my head because it's a different texture on top. So yeah, once, once that's all done, I go ahead and take a little bit more oil and apply it to the ends of my hair. This wasn't really necessary, just extra. And then I'm just smoothing that over the curls 
and then I start to separate the curls so because I have a lot of frizz already I didn't want to separate them too much so I just separated the really big chunks and with any frizz that occurred I just tried to twirl it back in the curl direction so yeah just separating and as you can see my ends are getting stuck and you saw that I combed out my ends right so that's happening because my hair needed a trim so if you find that you're getting a lot of frizz at your ends it's probably because you need to have a trim too and here's the finished look guys to be honest when I first took them down I wasn't happy with the amount of frizz that I got and that's because I was recording it for you guys I only actually watched this video back last week and I recorded it back in like what July last year so I'm just looking back and I'm really happy with the results so that's all there is to it guys I hope you enjoyed the content give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye